the super amphibious warships of the United States when carrying the steel fighter F-35B has the power equal to that of Chinese and Russian aircraft carriers. The F-35B Joint Strike Fighter not only changes the way Marines perform their duties, but also the way amphibious forces can do their job without truly carrier. After a temporary suspension of operations due to a level 1 accident on the F-35B version at the base of the US Marine Corps, so far, this particular fighter has to return to service on amphibious assault ships. On September 27, 2018, the F-35B steel fighter was recorded for the first time in combat operation. The F-35B squadron, taking off from U.S. Essex, successfully carried out a strike on the target of terrorist forces in the territory of Afghanistan. This is also the first time the U.S. amphibious assault ship has been used as a small aircraft carrier, specializing in carrying a short takeoff and vertical landing fighters. The deployment of an amphibious assault ship carrying F-35B steel fighters is thought to be a much less expensive solution than maneuvering a truly supercarrier. The United States currently maintains the largest and most capable amphibious force in the world. Amphibious warships are designed to support the Marine Corps tennis of operational maneuver from the sea and ship to objective maneuver. Because of their inherent capabilities, these ships have been and will continue to be called upon to also support humanitarian and other contingency missions on short notice. U.S. Essex LHD-2 is among the largest of all amphibious warfare ships, resembling a small aircraft carrier. She was launched on February 23, 1991 and commissioned on October 17, 1992. She is the fifth ship named for Essex County, Massachusetts. Essex and her sister ships are the first specifically designed to accommodate new landing craft air cushion for fast ship movement over the bridge, an AVHB Harrier to vertical sorting off and landing jets which provide close air support for a zone force. She can also accommodate with the full ranks of Navy and Marine helicopters, conventional landing craft and amphibious assault vehicles to support a Marine expeditionary unit of 2,000 Marines. The ship also carries some of the most sophisticated communications, command and control capability afloat, along with state-of-the-art electronic systems and defensive weaponry. The U.S. XX is an improved follow-on to the five-ship Tarawa class landing helicopter assaults, sharing the basic heart and engineering plan. The ship is built as five giant pre-constructed modules, each weighing thousands of tons and ultimately fitted together at the shipyard forming the ship's hull. The fuller displacement of the ship is 41,150 tons. She measures a running length of 257 meters with a beam of 32 meters while having a draft of 8.1 meters. The warship has an enhanced square deck. The use of HY-1 steel to build the fly deck makes it stronger. She uses a lowering stern gate, enabling it to carry three landing craft air cushion in a single bay. The fly deck and elevator scheme is also improved, which allows the ship to carry two more helicopters than its predecessor. The propulsion system is provided by two boilers, two gear steam turbines driving two shafts, develops 70,000 shaft horsepower powering the ship to speeds in excess of 22 knots. Her rings can reach 9,500 nautical miles at 80 knots.
To carry out her primary mission, ISIS has an astral support system that synchronizes the simultaneous horizontal and vertical flow of troops, cargo, and vehicles throughout the ship. Two aircraft elevators service the hangar bay and fly deck. Six cargo elevators, each 4x8 meters, are used to transport material and supplies from the 3,000 cubic meters cargo holds throughout the ship to staging areas on the fly deck, hangar bay, and vehicle storage area. Cargo is transferred to waiting landing craft dock within the ship's 1,100 square meters. Helicopters in the hangar bay or on the fly deck are cargo loaded by forklift. The hangar can accommodate 20 SCH-46 equivalents. The XX carries a mix of such short helicopters, plus 6 to 8 Harriers for close air support. A typical mix of helicopters is 12 CH-46 C9, 4 CH-53E Stallion, 3 UH-1N Huey and 4 AH-1W Super Copper helicopters. The vessel will also be able to embark the MV-22 Osprey two-rotor aircraft. Because of the desire to maximize the number of deck spots, no ski jump ram is fitted. The vehicle storage area typically accommodates 5 M1 tanks, 25 light armor vehicles, at M198 guns, 68 military trucks, 10 logistics vehicles, 12 fighting trucks, 2 water trailers, a fuel service truck, 4 rough terrain forklifts, and 2 generator trailers. These vehicles can be loaded abroad landing craft, and the majority can be reached for transportation to the beach by helicopter. For self-defense, the ship is armed with two semi-active radar-guided NATO RIM-7C Sparrow missile systems for anti-air warfare protection, two RIM-116 rolling airframe missile systems, and three 20mm flanks closing weapon system, mounts to gunner threats from low-flying aircraft and closing small craft. There are also four 25mm machine guns and for 12.7mm machine guns. Six super rapid blooming of both draft decoy system launchers augment anti-ship missile defense's ability. The XX is equipped with a range of most advanced radar and sensors at the time she was launched. It is ANSPS 49 2D air search radar, ANSPS 48 3D air search radar, ANSPS-67 Surface Search Radar. There are also targets acquisition system, air traffic control radar, identification friend or foe, etc. XX has medical and dental facilities capable of providing intensive medical assistance to 600 casualties, whether combat incurred or brought aboard ship during humanitarian missions. For the comfort of the 1,075 crew members and 2,200 embarked troops, all manned spaces and berthing areas are individually heated and air-conditioned. Onboard recreational facilities include a library multimedia resource center with internet access, a wet room, and satellite television capabilities. My video of USS XX LHD2 Ancier. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.